Well, eight months before the play started um, is, is, is the accident of this kid. He, he's, um, he's out playing in the yard with his mother. Howie's off at work. Becca gets a phone call. The dog, Taz, takes off into the street. And um, he runs out into the street after the dog. And he's accidentally hit by a car. Well, Howie's the dad of, 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 of the kid that, that was accidentally killed. Um, he works in, in the city in Manhattan. He's a, a risk management broker. Um, he, um, he's just dealing with the death of his son. I mean, that's, that's really what he's doing. He's trying, to, he's trying to, to get over the hump with that. It's been about eight months when the, when the show opens. It's been about eight months since the accident. And um, Becca, the wife, and Howie, I think they're just really trying to reconnect after this tragic, tragic thing that happened. I mean, I, I think that's really what, what's going on. It's a family rather in crisis. Uh, there's uh, been a death in the family, and every family handles that differently. So it's just this huge blow to this family. I mean, there's some stuff that's, that, that's happened in, in their past, um, that's happened in, in the past of, of their family, not necessarily with, him, with Howie. But, um, but yeah, yeah, I think it's just it's, it's these, 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 this family's just trying to, trying to find a way back to to be able to talk to each other again and, 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 and be a family again, yeah. Well, it's parents' worst, it's your, it's your worst nightmare. It's, j it's your worst nightmare, which is what uh, the playwright said. Um, everybody asks playwrights, well, do you, what do you write about? Do you write what you know? Do you write what you don't know? And he said, I wrote what scares me. And at the time, he had a four-year-old son. And so he wrote what scared him. And I was like, that is my biggest fear. It's a slice of life. Um, but at the same time, it's the same thing that happens in every play. You take the, the looking glass, the microscope, and when you see it, it's enlarged. Life is just a little bit bigger than it really is. Um, they handle it well at times, and at other times it's not being, uh, the grieving goes so deeply that the chasms and the separations become larger and larger. It's not just these two people and their lives every day and they just cry 24 hours a day and go to work, come home and that's all they do. They're, they're trying to live life and I think it really shows the mourning process and what that really is and how it's not the same for everybody but how certainly when awful things happen you go on. Stuff happens and um, life happens and uh, there's got to be some light there man. You know there's got to be some light there. You got to you, you know you're looking for that light in those situations whether it be um, whatever it be you know whatever it be you know you're looking for that light you know that hope um, and it's and that's what I think is important that hope. Yeah.